A new documentary at the Palm Springs International Film Festival features legendary photographer and Valley resident Michael Childers. It's about the film Midnight Cowboy, which was directed by Childers' husband, the late John Schlesinger. I spoke with Childers today about the documentary and why Midnight Cowboy remains such an iconic film. Michael, thanks so much for joining us. Can you believe that more than half a century after its release, we are still talking about Midnight Cowboy, not only this incredible book, but now the new documentary, Desperate Souls, Dark City, and the Legend of Midnight Cowboy. Well, it's a great documentary, and um, Nancy Bursky, who directed it, is a brilliant director. The insights to the movie and John Schlesinger and the filming, and also in, in insights to New York and American politics in 1968, what was happening. It's a, a very textured, rich movie. It's not just about filmmaking. It's uh, about a lot of other things. So. It's yeah. a good movie, good movie. John Schlesinger, obviously your husband. What was your role in the making of Midnight Cowboy? Well, I, I, I met him early on. He was passionate about making it. He was passionate about being in America. Uh, he saw America through my eyes, and he was wide-eyed wonder boy. He just loved America, what he saw. Uh, the absurdities of it, the grandosities of it, uh, the violence, the, uh, the glitter, the glamour, uh, especially in, in New Mexico, Texas, uh, New York, and, um, and uh, in L.A. And I, I, I took him around and showed him everything that I could, including Cantor's Deli <laughs> at 3 a.m. in the morning with all the acid heads and meth, <laughs> meth heads and a, and a speed freak running a mouse over a face at Cantor. That's in the movie. John put it in the movie. So he went around America for a next month or two just looking, observing, and, uh, and it's a brilliant observation of America at that time. You're so right. And one of the things I think is interesting, it's the only X-rated movie to ever win Best Picture. So what do you think the impact of that is in our culture today? Today, yeah. Well, the fact it's, it's become a legend, and whenever you speak about Midnight Cowboy, people say, oh, oh, I just, I want to see it again. I want to see it. And on a big screen, we had a screening here two years ago, and there were like 800 people sold out. They'd never seen it on a big screen. So I mean, we're, uh, this is not a screening of Midnight Cowboy. It's a screening about the making of, and it's really, really a great movie. And I, I don't know about the X-rated thing. That was taken off about four or five months after it was in release in New York, and they changed it to an R, a double R, or whatever these things mean nowadays. So, but uh, it went on to make a lot of money. Well, I certainly can't wait to see the documentary at the Palm Springs International Film Festival. Michael, thank you so much for joining us. Good. Thank you.